on the last episode of Dragon Ball Z. I just got out of Popper's Drop, and I'm on the way to Dionysus Park. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how to start this video up. What's up, guys? Well, I'm back, apparently. Hi. We're going to Dionysus Park. Hear me, O oh ye who would murder the Lamb of God. Ye shall never reach her God. Is that, is that a missile? Is that... Yep, that's a missile. God damn it. This guy can survive a shot to the head for 10 years. Technically. And a missile. This guy is fucking God. Okay. He's Jesus. He is Superman. Kid, come on. Wake up now. There you are. I thought you rode that torpedo into the grate hereafter. I'm in Dionysus Park now. Train cars are shambles, leaking air. Whole damn place is flooded and sealed. But there's a pumping station back there on Siren Alley, and I believe you could jerry-rig it to drain the park out. That'd let you stroll right inside. Get to those pumps and hurry. So yeah, I fixed my laptop, or just got a new one. And I'm back to making videos again, apparently. Yay! I, if you want to say yay. Not yay, then not yay. Yay for me, I guess, because I kind of like making videos for you guys. For the few that like my I videos, see, I guess. I see Father Wales <laughs> has parted you from your craft, and yet you cling to life. Congratulations. Today, Delta, you meet a man who has no fear of death. And for Eleanor, he would burn with a smile. Basically, we're going to be dealing with some really crazy people. As if we didn't already deal with crazy people in this in this game. So, a few things before we start. One, I'm sorry for not updating you guys all that often. But one video is not enough. Sorry. Two, Look at this rusty piece. Uh, I did change a few of my Show genes because I had to restart this because I saved over the original file. So my plasmids are Electabolt, Telekinesis, Incinerate, and Decoy. And my tonics are Sports Boost, Drill Power, Boost Hound, Armored Shell, Hacking, Hacker's Delight, which I'll probably get rid of soon, Headhunter, Eve Saver, and Firestorm. Uh, 50 Hacker and Scrounger I'll explain a little bit later. But, for the most part, they should somewhat be the same. And the weapons, the rivet gun is damaged, damage increased. I completely upgraded the shotgun and the machine gun still has the recoil, the recoil upgrade. So it doesn't recoil as much. So as we can see here, uh, let's see what's going on. You just got blown the fuck up. You just got blown the frick up. I mean, what the frick? Uh, let's 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 see how how goes this. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, let's try... Electable. Alright. Oh! Uh, these are a new type of Big Daddy. These are called the Rumblers. Rumblers are not as hard to take out as Bouncers, but they are... They're not as hard to take out as, uh, Bouncers, but they're easier than Rosies. Rosies are just pains in the ass these are not as difficult and these are only appear in this part of rapture in the cut off part of rapture for reasons because reasons a uh, little word of the wise here if you notice that this is the plane from the first game 10 years ago when jack crash lands in the ocean and sees the tower the airplane tail a silent god Your wretch of a servant waits for word. I have followed the letter of the Holy Mother Lamb. 
though she will not tell me the day of your return. I watched as you smote down the false father, Andrew Ryan, who tempted us away from your radiant gaze. But ye would not speak to me, Lord. I have built for ye this great temple, and gathered your flock, yet still you were silent. Will ye not strike me, poor brother, blind, so he may at last behold your glory, as was done to Paul on the road to Damascus? Right. I am alone, Lord. Alone. And waited for a sign. So this guy's basically on his last leg. He doesn't know what to do. And he's basically looking for answers. God, he's leaving it up to chance. In my opinion. As we can see here, we see Big Flame. And Dr. Steinman from the first game. Too fat, too ugly, too symmetrical, all that kind of stuff. You remember the first game. Really, or hopefully you do. If you didn't, you know, go look at go look at the playthrough I did for the first game. You'll really enjoy it. I'll be glad you did. But anyway, uh, let's start our first gathering sequence. I'm doing this a little bit out of order than I normally do, but I just want to do these gathering sequences first. want to get those out of the way. I believe if you get four and, and then eight rescuing little sisters, you do you do receive something really w well in the form of a, a tonic. So, like something really, really good. You can see one shot to the river gun to the head. Effective. Very effective. Oh, I fully upgraded the shotgun. I don't know if I, ever, I told you guys. So, probably gonna be my, my go to weapon because the shotgun is a beast. Absolute one star. Now, now it basically has electrical uh, equipped with it too. It's pretty cool. Boom. Boom. Yeah, there you go. Firestorm really helps. Like sometimes when I get hit, I, I emit a bolt of fire. The Ring of Fire! I think that was a funny you know. Hopefully, if it, if it wasn't, then I don't know where that is. Okay. There you go. Boom. Pick up 40 atoms. Sweet. Okay. Boom. Pick that up. I believe if you get four. Four sisters, which actually, this will actually be my board. You get a tonic which lets you get more Adam from each sister. Proud parent, I believe it's called. And if you get eight, it, it, speedens, it speeds up the process of the harvest. I think by half. I'm not sure how the calculation works, but... Honestly, I'd rather have it the other way around. Uh, no, actually, no. I'd rather have it that way around because I want more atom as much atom as possible you get I think 60 instead of 40 very very helpful every little piece of atom counts because there are surprisingly not as many little sisters as I thought there would be in this game there are only 12 so you gotta make atom count and gotta you have to have to harvest regardless if you like to or not it's mandatory almost mandatory in this game Okay. Man, I don't like harvesting as much as most people do. I don't think anyone har likes harvesting due to the fact that it's just more busy work and just has out the game. But whatever. Uh, what is this? Handyman. Handyman's a really useful uh, gene tonic. It helps you. It makes you repair some of the security bots uh, and turrets. Very helpful. Uh, and I figured out that using security bots. It's actually a really effective way of playing this game, so I'm probably going to start using more security bots from now on. I, Because uh, when I played up to this part, I didn't use as many security bots on my other playthrough. But on this, but getting up to here, I did. You know, the one off camera. So I'm probably going to be using them a little bit more. I think we got a audio diary, so let's, let's play that. Yeah, we did. Well, Mr. Diary... Mom's got a new security system to stop me from seeing Amir and the other kids. But security's just made of bits and bobs. 
like you are. And now we're the best of friends. Isn't that right? Anyway, Amir's got a whole book about the surface. It has India and Ireland and... and everywhere. Yes, all right, Mr. Diary. If you must know, I do think Amir's kind of pretty for a dog eater. Oh no! Retreat! Eleanor, come back here at once. Alright, so as you can see, she's pretty smart. She's hacking stuff. She's kind of being a kid, being playful, inventive. Not inventive, but just all around cheery ish. So let's go do the second harvest uh, right now. Okay, screw you. Oh god. The beast of Ryan lives! Gather the family! Mother of mercy, I think that was Simon Wales. What's he done to himself? He and his brother were Rapture's architects, but when Doc Lamb came along, Simon got religion. He's got a kind of church down in the pumping station. Expect a reckoning when you arrive. He is a special kind of splicer that we haven't seen yet. They're called spider splicers. Spider splicers are... Hey, we just get a stack, Close to brute splicers in terms of difficulty. These guys are not to be taken lightly. A lot of health and they love to climb walls, so you gotta use a lecture bolt or something to try and get them off the walls. Okay, boom. I probably should have put some trap rivets down, but okay, whatever. I don't need really to use too many trap rivets, so whatever. Okay, wallet already full. I should. No, don't use Adam. Yeah. Boom. Get away. Right, let me use my. Uh, uh, that is not going to do anything. Perfect. Alright. Probably the shotgun I, I would recommend as the first weapon to upgrade because that shock damage is really helpful. And that voice is the spider splicer. Oh god. I don't see it. Oh, there it is! These guys have a lot of health, but... I'm... Wow, I underestimated them apparently, because they just died in two hits. This shotgun's really strong, apparently. Alright, let's pick this up. Pick it, he, she, it, it, better. Up. Okay that. Let me rescue her. Power of Christ compels you. Boom. Let's give you another 80 Adam in the bag. Yay, a little teddy bear. Sweet. Teddy bears usually give you some really good You're stuff. You're not alone, there. Father. The girls you rescued are on your side. Check the gatherer's garden for a package. Okay. Excuse me. I didn't tell you to speak. Anyway. You get some pretty neat stuff from the teddy bears. Oh, look, <laughs> it's so neat. You get more Adam. Should do I really need to go on? You get more Adam. That's all you need to know. You get more Adam. Adam. Oh, oh, right, right, right. You get the proud, proud parent tonic. Only if you save four sisters. So proud parent lets you get more Adam per adoption, but it takes longer in the process. So. You need all the atom you can get, so highly recommended. I'm probably going to make a slot for this. Some money, a lot of money, and some atom. So I'm going to use that atom and buy some stuff right now. Okay. I'm going to want two slots. I'm a proud parent. I'm going to want another gene tonic slot. And I don't have the gene, to uh, John to <laughs> gene tonic I want to put in right now. Uh, in the other games, you could buy like Cyclone Trap 2 before you buy Cyclone Trap 1. Uh, or any, like, let's say you can buy three before you buy one or two. In this game, you have to buy one, then two, then three. They make you do that. Medical Expert's really helpful. You get one more first aid kit. I highly recommend that. Walking Inferno might not be that bad, since I have the fire, fire blast, basically. But I'm not going to use it. Eve Link is somewhat useful. Electric Flesh is also kind of useful. Take no damage from electricity. 
Uh, Insect Swarm is really helpful. I'm actually going to buy that. Let me buy a Plasma Slot. I want to use Hypnotize. Uh, where is... Insect Swarm? Here. Ooh, video. Summon a swarm of insects. Laugh as they seek out hidden enemies. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, and let's buy Telekinesis. Two. New and improved! Think bigger. Throw objects at higher speed for more damage. Now, I believe you can pick up live enemies with this, but I am not too sure. Uh, well, I can't, can't really try it out now. There's no one alive. Um, okay, let's collect some more some stuff. I was about to say the S word. S that shall not be named. But let's, we'll probably, let's explore the, what is that called? The Mermaid Lounge. Let's go explore some, some Mermaid Lounge.